welcome back to the channel my name is Stephanie so I get questions from you guys all the time asking me about tips and advice on streaming or doing YouTube videos and I always find it flattering when you guys ask me because I feel that I am not at all the right person to be asking that question to because I'm such a smaller YouTube channel and Twitch channel that I'm like mm, it doesn't seem like I should be the right person to ask that to. But I wanted to make a video basically giving my tips and my advice on streaming and doing YouTube. Now I just want to put for a disclaimer, I'm not, not at all stating that I know what I'm talking about and I'm amazing and you should listen to everything I'm saying. No, I'm just saying that these are the things that I've learned across the way of doing it and I'm just sharing my advice and tips since what I've learned. If you're watching this and you're also a streamer and you want to add in some tips that I might have missed, please do so in the comments below. I'd love for this to be kind of an open discussion thing. So first thing first, what you want to do is ask yourself, why do you want to start live streaming? Is it because you want to have a good time, you want to meet people, you want to play video games? Good, then that is all the right reasons for why you should want to start streaming and you can go along and pass the line in the fast pass line. If it's because you want to make a shit ton of money and you want to be amazingly famous and you want to be showing off your MLG skills on whatever game you're playing, then no, this is not for you. You should stop right there, go back to school, finish your education, boy, and call it a day. <laughs> Second thing is, is you don't need high-end equipment to stream anymore. You can use your Xbox One or your PlayStation 4 with the next-gen consoles. You can stream right off of those consoles, and it makes it so simple and so easy. It sets it up for you, and you can just bing, bang, boom, call it a day. I started off live streaming on Xbox One, and let me tell you, I think my best views to date that I got was when I was live streaming on the Xbox One. You know, I didn't have my fancy overlay and I didn't have my fancy music and my fancy pop-up alerts and this and that. I didn't have any of it, but I had so much more viewers on the Xbox One than I think I do live streaming from my PC. So number three on um, things to help you out with is be engaging with the chat. Twitch is at a community that is bringing people from all around the world together on one platform that everybody agrees upon, and that's the love for video games. That's the whole purpose of it. So be engaging with your chat. Your chat is there for you. They're there to talk to you. I cannot stand it when I go into people's live stream and they're, they're not talking to you. I mean, I can understand if you're having a thousand viewers and it's like, okay, whoa, uh, I can't keep up with the chat, I can't talk to every single person, that's understandable, but if you're at only like less than 100 viewers, you should be able to keep up with the chat and try and talk with them. Number four, which also kind of coincides with I guess number one, is be yourself, be fun, have fu not be fun, but have fun. <laughs> and think of it as streaming as um, basically you are throwing the biggest party of your lifetime and you are the host of the party everybody is there and they want to greet you and meet you and talk to you and they're going to ask you questions you're throwing an epic party with good music and making sure everybody's having fun so have fun yourself be yourself and everything will work out in the end i think a really great thing is to think about it if you want your twitch channel to grow and succeed and and have fun with it then you need to kind of treat it almost as if a business and the first thing to business is marketing and marketing your name and your brand and how do you market and do that on the internet especially on twitch well a really great thing is just going into people's chats your friend chats your friends live streaming following people that come into your chat and say that they live stream too whatever go into their stream say hello to them talk to their chat um, be supportive be engaging with that streamer help them out you know tweet out their stream now when i say go into people's chat and be talkative and supportive to other streamers, I am not at all saying that you should go into somebody's chat and say, Hey, I'm a streamer. Come follow me. Come watch me stream. I'm streaming now. That is the worst thing you could possibly do. It just creates such a negative look around your name. Immediately people are going to say, I don't really want to come and follow you if you're begging for me to do it. I'd rather come on, you know, the reference of somebody saying, hey, this is a person who streams and she's really fun, as opposed to you begging for it. That is not at all what I'm saying. Don't do that. Avoid doing that. You want to have, 
be supportive to that person and then they'll be supportive with you as well. I think which is a really great tip and it's a tip that I need to follow but I just can't is have a set schedule and try to stick to that schedule of I stream on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I stream on Saturdays and Sundays from around this time. I stream mainly in the mornings. I stream mainly in the evenings. And announce that schedule, you know, at the end of your stream or during the middle of your stream or put it in the description below, you know, let people know that this is when you stream and then stick to that schedule because then the people know, okay, I'm expecting so-and-so to be live today at this time and I'm going to be there or whatever because it just, it helps to bring back the people that have come in and are especially new. This is a tip that I know I need to really follow, but also try and stream a lot. The more you stream, the more viewers you're going to get, the more followers you're going to get. I mean, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. Another thing that's really helpful that I've noticed a lot of people do that's kind of like a no-no um, is your titles, how you title your live stream. Um, a lot of people put IC, especially kind of the newcomers, put Call of Duty Advanced Warfare as their title. Okay, well I know you're playing that, but what else about it? You know, you want to make a title engaging and interesting so that when people are scrolling through lists of people streaming, they go, oh, this is a funny title, or oh, this looks cool, and they click on you and come in. It's something that invites them in. Um, so, I mean, you could simply do, for instance, I just do like scary Saturday stream or freaky Friday stream. That's usually when I play like a scary game or then I'll do like Saturday chill stream with song requests, come say hi. You know, just silly fun things like that that gets people to initially say, oh, this looks fun or this looks cool and to click on your name. This is, I think, the eighth tip. Uh, <laughs> another great thing that's really helpful are bots. Moo bots and night bots, which are basically uh, robots in disguise. Robots in disguise! <laughs> that uh, come into your chat and they moderate your chat. So if you don't want people coming into your chat and saying a specific name or a specific word or whatever, you can trigger that robot to initially delete that person or time them out or ban them or whatever. They're also really helpful with timers. So every couple of lines when people stop chatting and the chat dies out, it will come up with something fun that you can type in and say, hey, be sure to follow my channel. Hey, be sure to share the stream. Or hey, what happens when the chicken cross the road? Like you can make fun lines that when the chat dies out, it'll help kind of bring back the chat. I think those are all my advice and tips that I have for you. And I know that this video is probably long and I've been rambling for so long. But again, if you are a streamer watching this and you have any advice that you would like to add into what I have put in, please leave it in the comments below. I hope that this is helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Leave it in the comments below. I love you guys. Remember to be yourself, have fun, and love playing video games, because that's all this is. I'll see you in the next stream. Bye!